very powerful, very dangerous. I mean, what would happen if it started up while I was standing he here? <laughs> it is starting. Look at the wheels, starting to turn. Look at the strength of it all. Well, what's it driving? Is it a windmill? Is it some great industrial machinery? In actual fact, it's something much more entertaining than that. It's this, the oldest roundabout of its kind in the world. This roundabout opened on Blackpool Pleasure Beach in 1904, a year before the Wright brothers made their first powered flight, and it's been taking people for a ride ever since. But why? What's the attraction of fairground attractions? Well, we love to live dangerously. We love the feeling of falling, as long as we know we're not really falling. And to cater with this love of thrills, a whole industry of fun fair and amusement park technology has sprung up. And with it, a whole series of ways of turning, twisting, and swinging people about. With most turning rides, the power that drives them is used to turn a central shaft and the riders are swung round and round. But with this one, it's different. The powerful 150 horsepower engine turns what looks like two normal car wheels. And these in turn push the ride first this way and then the other. Because this ride doesn't go round and round. This ride swung through 180 degrees and it's lucky it didn't go right over the top. <laughs> the trouble is, this ride actually does. And away we go! Now this ride must be on a very solid structure. It weighs seven tons and swinging around one and a half times that. And the clever bit of the technology is the gear wheel horizontal. Oh! In the 19th century, fairground roundabouts were driven by steam power, and the steam pressure was used to provide the music as well as to drive the roundabout. This old carousel has been restored to its former glory, and it's still very popular. But here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, there's more than one way to ride a fairground horse. This is the steeplechase, a unique kind of horse race with a drag chain that takes you to the top. The horse is mounted on a sophisticated sort of roller skate clamped to a big pipe with a smaller pipe underneath keeping it upright. And whereas mechanical energy takes you to the top of the hill, kinetic energy takes you down again. That's the most startling new technology ride. It's a revolution, which doesn't need a chain drag to lift it up. It starts at the very highest level, and it's launched with a device very similar to an aircraft carrier catapult. The track is two huge pipes held parallel and apart by these brackets, and you can see where the wheels run on the top but also on the side and underneath to make sure the car is clamped securely to the track. <laughs> Modern rides are designed by computer and the thrills are actually built in. And the cars are built for safety. You are about to experience the most thrilling and exciting ride of your life. Please secure all those articles and clothing. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey! So much for modern technology. Next time you go to an amusement park, 
Have a look at it scientifically. Look at the track and the way the reels run on it. Or perhaps look at the design and safety aspects. Or perhaps look scientifically at what it does to your body. Especially to your stomach.